Today, Tim and Jess are turning the page to begin writing the next chapter of their love story, that love isn't happily ever after. Love is the experience of writing your story. It's not one moment, not even this one. It's every moment. It's big ones like saying I love you for the first time, finding the homiest apartment in Chestnut Hill, <laughs> Tim actually surprising Jess with a proposal, and getting engaged in front of tons of family and friends who love you both so much. But mostly, it's the little ones that are countless and come in between all the big ones. Falling asleep next to one another, waking up and giving a kiss despite a case of morning breath, <laughs> making dinner together and binge watching Netflix, being there for your loved ones when they need you most, spending holidays with your families, Tim filling a room with the best and worst of dad jokes, <laughs> followed by Jess always laughing. These everyday moments fused together to create the beautiful experience of your love. So when he looked into her eyes, he learned the most important part of the language that all the world spoke. The language that everyone on earth was capable of understanding in their heart. It was love. Something older than humanity, more ancient than the desert. What the boy felt at that moment was that he was in the presence of the only woman in his life and that with no need for words, she recognized the same thing. because when you know the language, it's easy to understand that someone in the world awaits you, whether it's in the middle of the desert or in some great city. And when two such people encounter each other, the past and the future become unimportant. There is only that moment and the incredible certainty that everything under the sun has been written by one hand only. It is the hand that evokes love and creates a twin soul for every person in the world. Without such love, one's dreams would have no meaning. <laughs>